find. Bad address. That tower's empty, isn't it? All right. Hello, everybody. I am Wicked Wizard, and today I'm going to show off a little bit of some of the Crotos End expansion gear and weapons. Um, Crotos and raid weapons and uh, some of the stuff Zur had yesterday that I some heavy grinding to try and take advantage of obtaining let's take a look here alright to start off we'll get the upgraded acleophage for coins no problem had plenty of those waiting <clears throat> the uh, heiress Gauntlets. You can see I was so busy saving Glimmer to exchange weapons from Zur, I didn't bother upgrading yet. These have pretty much the same specs as the the Vanguard army, so the the quest was fun, but I wouldn't really bother going out of your way to get it done. Vanguard a Vanguard chess piece. I got this from uh, Rank Up Day One. That's pretty convenient. Once again, haven't upgraded due to saving Glimmer. Alright, for weapons, this is probably one of my favorite ones right here. I got this from, uh... The pistol I got here, I actually got from... I think I got from a Vanguard rank up as well. And the sniper rifle here, I got from... A blue Engram drop. On day one of Crota's End, which was fun. And the Dragon's Breath there, I got from the first chest in the Crota's End Raid. Which is a nice surprise. Let's look here. PFW PKY, 1969. Most likely, acronym for The Fall Will Probably Kill You. Crowd Control. Hip Fire. Sight perks don't seem to make too much difference except for reload speed. High caliber rounds. Lose a lot of range. As you can see, I prefer to go with the extended range. I like to keep my distance. And the sniper rifle, the longbow synthesis. Precision kills dramatically increase reload speed. Would have produced explode targets. What are you going to do? RNG. Uh, the sights here add quite a bit of difference to range and stability, as you can see. I'm typically going to go with anything that adds stability. And uh, as far as snipers go, depending on maps and play styles, I usually go with a lower zoom scope. Some people prove, prefer a nice high range scope. Uh, I like to be able to see the area around me better so I'm not getting snuck up on. Once again high caliber rounds. The impact on this weapon is pretty decent so I was noticing I was staggering targets as long as it wasn't uh, an angry modifier on just fine with this so you know, again range, you know considerable amount of extra range there so by distance. Then outlaw. Take a look at Dragon's Breath here. It was a great first exotic to get. I was very happy that it was an expansion exotic, which is indicated by the top little icon there. Me and a few friends were arguing about uh, a few of the redone weapons that they kept referring to as expansion weapons, and I said, no, no, no. Those are previous game weapons. They're Gen 2 weapons, not expansion weapons. Tripod. Draw, javelin, heavy payload. Being that the blast radius is so high, I can't imagine how much more this would really give it. Whereas that seems to be an incredible speed increase over the rocket. And uh, anybody that's shot rocket launcher at Wizard knows that the faster they get there, the faster it's probably going to be. Pyromancer leaves a solar flare. You now, this seems like a great perk, uh, especially if, you know, 
a major ultra is standing right in that solar flare and it definitely will divert traffic but uh the solar flare really doesn't last near as long as i would have liked to see it last it doesn't really provide as much of a funneling effect as you might hope to block off enemy routes but nonetheless it's still great i love the iron sights on it love the look of it all right, so we went over some armor, some weapons, a few old weapons there. Murmur, everybody knows and ha should have. All right, let's take a look in the stash and see what other goodies I got. Purchase Ruin Wings for a Titan class. I currently have three hunters on my account, but I saw these at Xur, and these are the one item that made me actually think about deleting one of my hunters to make a titan. Uh, heavy ammo drops more often and contains more ammo in each drop. Combine that with the defender perk where heavy weapon kills uh, produce a chance to generate an orb. You no, know, and you're going to be a real team player with these this item, I'd say. Uh, before Xur left, I was trying to grind out 23 mounts to get one more helmet to Engram. And I ended up with the Obsidian Mind. Once again, makes me want to delete one of my hunters to make another class, which many of my clan mates did from the beginning. You know, they've got three level 30s, you know, all three classes. <clears throat> and I'm sitting over here with three level 30 hunters, pretty much. But at the same time, there's nothing like upgrading an exotic in half of a day by doing bounties on all three characters. So. Nova Bomb kills... Reduce the cooldown of your next Nova Bomb. I'd really like to see how effective that is. Uh, so the first two Engrams were bought from Xur. The first was an upgraded, or uh, Gen 2 rather, uh, Apothesis Veil for Warlock. And the second one was the ATS-8 Arachnid. Very happy to get a Gen, or uh, expansion pack exotic for my Hunters. Golden Gun zooms in for accuracy when aimed. This adds probably 3x, 4x zoom. It kind of, you know, it's actually kind of off-putting if you're not used to it all. Um, I can see how this would be great in the uh, in PvP especially, or even in some raid situations. You know, especially if you add on over the horizon. Uh, I have a hard time not using... Chain of Woe and Gunslinger's Trance, but I've been experimenting them with, you know, that's the point of the exotics, is to, you know, play with different build specs, so. Alright here, so, got the raid armor, head, or boots, chest, and gloves. Throw those on and take a look here, after we look at some more weapons. Alright, got all my raid weapons there. My three unupgraded exotics so far that are left sitting here. Uh, so yesterday while Zer was here, I basically had every weapon that he had available to exchange. So I felt the need to try and get that done. Cashed in Thunderlord, Red Death, Thuros, last word, and Icebreaker was the first one I got, of course. The first one I'm upgrading. another expansion weapon up for anything i believe this is a vanguard weapon you know it's I typically don't like auto rifles because the ridiculously high rate of fire and how low the impact is this on the other hand seems like it has a little bit extra impact so i kind of been liking a little bit and i also like that weapon grows longer the more accurate or it grows more accurate the longer it's fired excuse my Dyslexia there. Bought Truth with coins. Uh, I've had that weapon a couple of times, and I've deleted it, sharded it out a couple of times, but he had an upgraded version, so I said, why not? I also was fortunate enough to get the super good advice bounty from Eris the day that Zer was here, so I was able to knock that bounty out and get that too. Uh, I've got the Cure, Future War Cult Rocket Launcher, you know nice having an upgraded rocket launcher but at the same time one round of the magazine just is it's ugh. 
pointless for me. You know, and radar stays active with the rocket launcher. It's just, uh, you know, I'm probably not going to upgrade this thing except for maybe keeping it in case I don't get another void heavy for doing nightfalls and such. As you can see, I also was unable to upgrade my mask to the third man. I didn't really have enough glimmer to get it done in time, and I really don't use this helmet very much. This is the first helmet I ever got for Hunter, and I used it all while using Blade Dancer through the first couple of months, and once everybody was complaining about Blade Dancer, got tired of it, and started using Golden Gun more, which I have a hard time switching off of now. Same with the young Amakaras. Uh, you know, I play with this once in a while in Crucible. Uh, didn't that didn't really seem like the seven thousand glimmer be worth it? So, you know, maybe I'll just keep it and bust out for Crucible once in a while. The others, you know, I'm so tempted to shard some of these old things out, but then it's like, well, you can save them for the level thirty Nightfall. You know, to vary your build depending on what's going on in us. Let's take a look at the raid armor here. Got two sets of gloves. Third eye skull there. This knife on your side. And then the teeth on your chest piece is pretty rad. His gun were down, you can see he's kind of got this cool hive spike on his shoulder. I do have the raid cloak. Uh, it's on a. I have two of them. They're on different characters, though. Take a look at these perks. Uh, this hive destroyer perk seems to work uh, even when you're not in the raid, so that's kind of cool. And temporary increased reload speed while Oversoul's Gaze is active. You know, with Icebreaker, that's not really a big deal. Well, this I can see like having a huge effect on your ability to beat Crota. Moving a little faster with the sword. There's the raid set. My opinion, uh, this raid set is much, much better looking than the Vex raid set. Um, you know, I, I mean, I like the look of it just fine. You definitely look like a Vex. So there's the, you know, the whole idea of it being camouflage. But at the same time, you know, if anybody's played. Uh, Longer running RPGs, we like our gear to look a little fancy and glowy and epic, let's say. So, when it doesn't look quite so epic, it's a little disappointing when you've been grinding hundreds of hours to obtain it, so. Alright, thanks for tuning in. This has been a Wicked Cruel production. I'm Wicked Wizard, uh, and my buddy Foosbag is going to have this up on his YouTube channel. Feel free to check him out at twitch.tv slash foosbag, F-O-O-S-B-A-G.